Hello Libra, this is your mid-November 2018 reading. It will not resonate with all Libra individuals, so please keep that in mind. But I'm hoping to reach the majority of you, as I always say. But this is for Libra, starting mid-November 2018. A reading for the masses, the main energy for Libra coming in. Mid-November 2018. Could have someone coming back from the past with the Six of Cups. If it's meant to come out, it'll come out again. Mid-November Libra. Let's see what the incoming energies are going to be. Changes may be coming with the Two of Pentacles. Maybe doing, maybe taking on more than one project. Maybe having trouble juggling it. May take a challenge to do so. But like I said, if it's meant to be, it'll show up again. Energy coming in. Things are moving pretty quick with the chariot. Sometimes a little chaotic, but it is moving quickly. Sometimes this has to do with travels also. Some Libras may be traveling, but in the past, putting your swords down, not wanting to block people or not feel blocked anymore. Seeing things for how they are and clearly taking the blinders off. Something may have come out that you didn't see before but it's a good card I like the two of swords in reverse two of swords in reverse why are you there for Libra in the past it's the past element putting your swords down seeing things for how they are could have to do with the queen of swords this could be your energy could be another Libra could be Aquarius or Gemini or someone just taking on that energy there. They are in reverse. So in the past, you may decide to see things for how they are within your own life because it wrote something left you unsettled, off balance. For a few of you, you might have responded pretty harshly to something. But the energy is there with the Queen of Swords in reverse. They're not someone you like to mess with, that's for sure. Queen of Swords, Two of Swords, Queen of Swords. Why are you there in the past for Libra? Seven of Swords, I'm seeing that a lot. Something about someone was flying under the radar, not presenting things for what they truly are. And maybe you now see that. You're seeing things clearly that may have not been clear before. Kind of some, For some of you, it was something of sneaky behavior. You maybe uncovered it. Someone may have done something to you, taken something from you, or just may have been deceptive, or just someone not telling you everything about themselves. And maybe they didn't feel comfortable about letting you know who they are all the way. Your obstacle, maybe not put, uh, putting up too much of a fight, or maybe because there was too much fighting, we'll see. I need another card to find out for sure. Five of Wands in reverse, why are you, as the, why are you the obstacle for Libra? Obstacle could be with the four pentacles in reverse, no longer holding back something. Could be too many arguments. Can I get another card? And you may be feeling like you can't have your say 100%, but you're wanting to let go and tell somebody something or not hold back anymore. Can I get another card for the five of wands and the four pentacles in reverse as the obstacle? It's nothing you can't overcome, that's for sure. Yeah, it, something busted up this happily ever after situation you were striving for. You don't feel like you have gotten it. You feel like there's just too many power struggles here. Current environment. Knight of Wands, you can be dealing with the Knight of Wands. They are in reverse. They're not exactly, I don't know. The most committed type person. They usually go here and there. They're back and forth. 
I say they're, they're non-committal. They're here in a dash and gone in, the, in a flash, as they say. Knight of Wands could be a fire type energy. Someone taking on that energy. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. In reverse, why are you there? It's the current environment in mid-November. Prince of Wands are definitely there. Again, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or someone taking on energy. Mr. Flash and Dash or Miss Flash and Dash. Can I get another card? I need to know more than this. Knight of Wands, Prince of Wands, both in reverse. Why are you there? Could be that you're dealing with a couple of fire signs, too. And there it is again. You're dealing with major fire energy there, Libra. What can I say? You're dealing with hot-headed people. That's another thing that, that is attached to this wands that are in reverse. you got the princess of wands here. Maybe they're trying to turn around, but they don't seem to be doing very successful, being very successful at it. It's causing some strife, things becoming on earth, maybe a sneaky situation. Can I get one more card for that? How many wands can there be, right? But you are definitely dealing with something. There it is. I a lot of wands energy. Hopefully this is more than just a few of you. I did call out the main energy for Libras. You are dealing with for some hot-headed people. Like I said, it could definitely be a fire sign. I'm going to go on. Outside environment. <laughs> Prince of Wands. <laughs> Prince of Wands, why are you there? Do I need to tell you what a fire sign is? They are there. They are coming towards you. The outside environment could be the ones causing all this as we already know it's nothing new under the sun is it they got you turned around prince of wands why are you coming towards libra someone hot-headed non-committal you know, you're not wishing anything about them you're not you're thinking it's hopeless this person may be also thinking it's hopeless with you if, if, with them coming towards you uh, they're going to think, oh, with the star card in reverse, it's considered hopeless. I, oh, it's such a hopeless situation. Can I get another card for the star card in reverse? Not telling me very much. You're wanting success. They're wanting success with you, but they're feeling it's hopeless. Maybe they just burned you. That's what fire energy does. It burns. Maybe they feel that they burned you too much or maybe you feel they burned you too much and it's like a hopeless situation they're coming towards you and they're wanting success with you but you're just not happy right now too much strife too much behavior that shouldn't have happened maybe even some sneaky behavior something does come out you do see things clearly final final outcome lust desires wants needs the lust card, why are you there as the final outcome for Libra? Going for what you desire. No longer hiding behind the bushes and keeping to yourself, as they say. Is someone wanting to come out of just contemplating and going for what they desire? It looks like that's what Libra is going to do, is go for what they want in life. Think of themselves. That's what the lust card is, is thinking what you're for yourself it's an ego type card but a positive one it brings happiness and that's what you're wanting you're wanting to go for what you want in life your main desires and you're going to go for them and you're coming out of hermit mode for those of you that were not necessarily hiding yourself i should say i shouldn't have said hiding in bushes it's more like you're no longer going to be thinking about it you're going to be doing okay so can i get another card for the lust card and the Hermit card that's in reverse, the Hermit card is, which is a good card in reverse to me. Now you're going to think of, yep, you're going to gain, go for happiness. You may just get it. You're going for what you want. You're going to put the, the negatives and arguments behind you. And maybe this has to do with the fire energy in itself. Maybe some of you will make up, because I see a lot of fire energy. You know? And you're going to go for it. For this fire energy, maybe you desire this person after all for just a few of you. And others are going to go for what they want in life and, you know, the heck with everything else. 
I'm no longer going to even think about it. I'm just going to do it. That's what you're thinking, and you may get it. You may very well get it with that final energy. Going for what you want, and that is happiness with the sun card in the upright. You're not even going to think about that. You're going to do it. may cost you a little, but you're, you're not going to worry about it. You may spend a little bit too much with doing this. One more card. Rock the boat. Because you weren't happy before. You weren't getting your wishes. These are the Y cards. You're going for what you want. You're tired of being in hermit mode. You want happiness. Going for sunshine. Even if it may cost you a little bit. Because you didn't always get your wishes before. One more card. Let's really rock the boat here for Libra. Now, you may be overindulging for some of you. You're still dealing with this Knight of Wands in reverse. It could be that they're going to still be, uh, like I said, coming towards you. you. Got a lot of fire energy. Like I said, sometimes they're happy, sometimes they're not. You may be dealing with more than one fire sign. Someone's wanting success towards you, even though they feel like it's a hopeless situation. Or maybe it is. But in the end, there's still fire there. You're still dealing with everybody around you, but you're going for what you want. Like I said, happiness, even though it may cost you, but be careful of overindulgence and celebrating just a little too much, especially during the holidays. But sometimes you need to, you know, relax and break free and enjoy life. But that is your reading, Libra. You're doing what you want. That's basically it. You're going for the gold, the gusto, and just enjoying life after a hardship or a, hard, or a strife that you had. And that is your reading, and I'll put this out as soon as I can. Talk to you later. Bye.